he comes back and like everybody's like, yeah, we were able to f- figure <laughs> out our problems. You know, we don't always, you know, when it comes to being together and being friends, friendship isn't always about like helping each other. Sometimes it's just about hanging out and then they just hang out. And it's really adorable and, and lovely. And we get yeah. a longer version of the song, the ending song, which was pretty nice. It was, it was a sweet episode with with some great stuff with the minor characters. And some great stuff with mom. And, yeah. Uh, oh, I love Clarence's mom. She's, she's great. The, she's the best. And then the most recent episode was Jeff's Secret, in which we find out that Jeff has an extra toe. <gasps> One of his feet sees. Tooch, how did how were you able to stomach this episode? Are cartoon feet okay or no? Um, I mean, like it's not a leg- it's like it's not a like a legitimate trigger. Like feet are just gross. I know, I know. Like I'm not saying it's a trigger. I'm saying it's gross, and you don't like looking at them. Yeah, I mean, and and there was a couple moments where I'm like, okay, but like for the most part, it was it was fine. Like there wasn't any. There wasn't any of those, like, Ren and Stimpy slash Spongebob gross-ups. Yeah. Yeah, where you, where the, it was, like, Where every... it's, like, fucking oil-painted by, like, a, by, like, some person, and I'm just, by, like, why? By, by someone on death row. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. By, by some patient in, from Arkham paints a foot with every skin malady a, a person can have. I think, I think the worst part was, uh... The toe cap? No, honestly, that was whatever. Because at that point, it's just like it was. It was. It, it's it's cartoony because like the 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 toe cab had as much detail as the real feet, which wasn't much. <laughs> it was the the foot slot machine with the light up toes. That was like a bit much. And then the last shot where he eats the where the guy eats the toe cab. I was like, all right, that's. <laughs> um, but there was nothing. There was nothing barfy. I was fine because I love Jeff and I want to support him because he's my son. I like when he jumped through the sprinkler. He just got shot in the goose. And yeah. like, Woo! Woo! I, I love like when Cla- when Jeff's mom sit Clarence down. It's like, Clarence, this is very important to Jeff. Please keep it a secret. And Clarence is like, Why don't you just snip it off? And they're like, We wanted him to be able to make his own decisions about okay, his so body. Does that confirm that Jeff is uncircumcised? I would say yes. It, it, would... it does. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to reveal that information. Um, that's one mystery that no one needed to solve. Yeah. What was the other thing I was going to say? That just completely derailed me. Um, <laughs> like, like spent th- uh, this is one of Rothbell's favorite performances of mine, because like, he was really in the zone of, you know, the way that, the shitty way that kids talk, where they start sentences without knowing how they're going to end them. Yeah, that, okay, that was the thing, when he was, when he was calling his mom at work, and he was just like, uh, but... I like he he told me not to tell anyone his secret, but uh, I really wanna. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Or like in the beginning, he's like, "Hey, Jeff." Uh... Well, he, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and whenever he like started talking to Jeff, he just like touched him on the face. Yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah, Jeff. I I oh. <laughs> oh. You should, no. um, what if we d- did, and and then, um, uh, mm. <laughs> I have a co-worker in his mid-30s who, who talks like that constantly. Oh, dear. He's insufferable. Maybe he can't help it, Nikki. Maybe he's just like that. What, d- extremely dumb? He's very dumb. <laughs> it's not, like, a I, I don't think he's, dis- I don't think he's d- handicapped, but I think he's just a, a, a dipshit. Okay. But anyway, Clarence is like, I gotta tell the secret. I, 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 I love the bit where, you know, Miss Baker comes out. She's like, what's going on? And Clarence is like, I want to call my mom. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, okay. And she's just sitting there while Clarence is calling his mom. He's like, Miss Baker, you're not supposed to listen. <laughs> Can I borrow your sweater? <laughs> <laughs> she she gets put through so much that she has no idea what's going on. But, and, she, but also she just kind of rolls with it. She needs to win every teacher award there ever God. has been or will be or is yeah so what we do is clarence in an attempt to act do an act of solidarity it's like i have a secret i have three arms and he does like that sweater thing i don't understand yeah yeah that they do from the opening um and then everyone's like whatever but then like someone's like i've got a secret too i'm what was some other i have three nipples i have three nipples i have hair growing out of my ears 
I'm double jointed. I can't taste anything. <laughs> one one like one kid with super big lips just goes like, "Oh man, my lips!" Like he doesn't even go into detail. He just like they're self evident. Yeah. Someone shouts, "I only eat cheese." <laughs> yeah. So that so Jeff is like, you know what? If you think that's great, check out this shit, morons. And he it, he. He takes off his toe cap and everyone's like, wow, check out Jeff's cool 11th toe. And then that other kid, I think Nathan is his name, the big guy, is like, you also gave me the courage to show I'm double jointed. Clack it, clack it, clack it. And everybody ar- immediately don't care, doesn't care about the toe anymore. Because that's what, that's how kids are. They forget. They're like, oh, woo, what's the next new shiny thing? Yeah. Kids treat life like fireworks. <laughs> just, when's the next one? Is it going to be bigger and louder? My dog is terrified. <laughs> I do wonder if that's why Jeff insists on wearing socks and sandals. Because Probably. Because shoes, shoes are too squ- like tight for his extra toe. Maybe. Yeah, it's probably hard to get shoes. That's yeah. good. I mean, that that's, fi- that, that's fine. I'll allow that. That's a good excuse. So I can still love him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would. it's not like they planned that from the jump. It's like, hey, this, no. kid, this guy wears sandals. Because he's got 11 toes. It's like, oh, we drew this nerd with sandals. What if he had 11 toes? <laughs> yeah, it, pro- it probably worked in that direction. All right. The next episode is called Space Race. What? And it actually aired the night that we're recording this, so... We didn't have a chance to watch and it, because... This, this, this is the beauty of Clarence. It could really go either way. <laughs> it could be one of those things where it's like, maybe Clarence just wants to see if he can like fucking jump off the swing all the way to the moon or they might end the episode by going to space who the fuck (laughs) knows they might break into nasa i don't know (laughs) they go all the way from arizona to nasa yeah they'll do it as far as it could be shout outs uh uh, rory quieres uh recommended how to train your dragon and cats don't dance we want to do both of them although for dragon we may wait for the third one yeah yeah uh, depending on how long that takes. Cats Don't Dance is a uh, uh, a favorite f- of this household. Yeah, uh, man. It's whenever we went to Blockbuster or, or Hollywood Video, it was the only movie Nina would ever rent. Yep. Because <laughs> what, what made it special is that it was a rental. Like, it wouldn't have been the same if you owned it. Yeah, like, we never owned it. So for me, I only got to watch it when I rented it. But it would have been so much easier to just buy it. But we didn't... No. That's not how it worked back then, Nikki. Yeah, there was no Amazon or there whatever. There was no, like, Mommy, I want this movie, and then I just get it. Like, I'd have to wait until, like, Christmas or something. I mean, that's kind of how it worked with me, because, like, I'm... I'm get Like, I literally got rid of all my DVDs, like, because, like, I would buy them once and watch them and then never fucking watch them again. I had... Like, back when I used to watch television, I watched films on tv that i owned on dvd but they were on the tv for a limited time and i had to catch it so i was like oh fuck it's on i'll watch it since it's on but it's like i never opened up the case to put like that's like three extra steps aside from just turning on the tv and watching it there it's already on the tv i don't need to put it on there this is serendipity clearly the universe wants me to watch die hard 2 oh i thought you were talking about the film and i was like i've never seen that no, me neither. I mean, for me, it's like, there are some movies that are just, like, such great movies that I can't let go of. Like, I was looking through our DVDs to, like, get rid of stuff, and I, there's plenty of stuff I'm like, I'm never gonna watch Robots again. T- Lilo and Stitch, like, all the Pixar movies, like, I just want them there. I want them in my house. Because you, you, the thing is, right. you don't want to be at a point where you're like, oh, I want to watch it. Fuck, I sold it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, guess the thing for, I guess the thing for me is just, like, I'll just find digital means to do it yeah yeah i mean i'll do that when i'm living on my own but like these are like our family copies of our movies and like also i'm broke and i can sell it for money (laughs) i don't know they hold a lot of history like we're gonna totally get break out our lilo and stitch dvd when we watch that later this month because we still have it anyway who else uh, Magus Morificus on the YouTube for, our, our last YouTube for Secret of Kells. Was that the last one? No, the, the one before that. It, w- it was one where we talked about the Adventure Time episode, Normal Man. Uh, they pointed out, and I didn't know this, that Normal Man was Moynihan's last episode. Oh. Yeah, so, it, you know, Moynihan was a very, uh, Magic Man was a very Moynihan character. Yeah. Uh, tonally and visually and ev- everything that had to do with very Moynihan. So, putting that character to bed was also him saying goodbye to the show. It, was very, it, it uh, really worked out. And 
That that also almost certainly means he's moved on to something else. We don't know if it's going to be his thing or just somebody else's thing. Whatever it is, he's probably not at liberty to talk about it. If he gets his own show, that's going to be the weirdest fucking show on television. Did you see his pilot he did for a Cartoon Hangover? Manly? No. Yeah, yeah it's wait, called wait, wait, Manly. Wait. You never saw Manly? I could have sworn oh, we talked about Manly. Oh, that? He did that? Okay, then, yeah, that makes With, with his brother, I think. That. Um, Yeah, so... Yeah, his aesthetic is so weird. I'm not sure he could... I'm not sure TV's ready for him. I mean, he was TV's not ready. He was predominantly a comics guy before a cartoon guy, which is common for a lot of the people working on Adventure Time, but, like, he had, like, a comic that I don't think he finished. It was called, like, Fractal or something? Fractals or something? And I don't think he ever finished it. So and that I, happens to a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. But it, it's... I don't know. But that's... I didn't know that. That's really sweet. Uh, so, uh, a weirdo with a beardo uh, asked us to do the Oblongs, which had de- definitely... Um, yeah. Worth uh, worth looking into. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good show. I, I, I enjoyed it. Like, I recognize the characters, but I don't recognize... Don't know anything about the show? The the main the main dad with no with no limbs is voiced by Will Ferrell. Before he got cool. too big to be in a one season TV cartoon. Huh. Like right out of SNL, or maybe probably, probably yeah. During. Is it all right for me to talk about Guilty Gear real quick? <laughs> sure, I I edit it. Um, <laughs> I edit it out. <laughs> um, the new Guilty Gear came out and. It's really good, except they didn't dub this one. I don't know why. There's yeah. no dub. There's no dub. The last one was dubbed, and I really dug it. I I'm mad about that. I think it's the publishers not willing to push Guilty Gear as much as they could. Like, like Blaze Blue is definitely their favorite kid. Blaze Blue got the fucking anime. Yeah. And the, and the spinoff comics and uh, more reliable CD releases. Lame. Yeah. Though, even though, don't send Nikki too many Guilty Gear things though yet because oh yeah uh, he, he we haven't done the story yet we, we haven't finished the story or started it cause like Nikki works a lot <laughs> yeah so no spoilers although I know about like the characters that show up just in story mode I know about who they are but I don't know what they do and I'm still holding on to hope that Zap is the third king of Illyria also we then, want Disney to show up yeah we didn't know she was gonna be delayed DLC yeah she's not ready yet bunch of bull crap Anyway. Anyway. I, we're uh, done. I'm Nikki done. Premier Guilty Gear podcast. Uh, Nikki the Rat on PSN. Fuck it. I'm so tired. If you want to play Guilty Gear, I'm really bad at it. Um, trying to learn jam, and I'm like, okay, I know how to do the combos. I don't know how to space at all. Whatever. Also, Joshua had a lovely birthday. He and his brother had a great, great birthday. Glad birthday. you guys had a slamming B-Day, Joshua. Joshua. All right. Uh, next week, we are doing Beware the Batman. Which we haven't started yet. We haven't started, but we're gonna let's do get it. it started. Black Eyed Peas style. In here. And then after that is Lilo and Stitch. Yes. All right. <laughs> Remember when they were a good band? Yeah, for like an album and a half. Yeah. Monkey business was okay. All right. Um, you can over. find us on all the usual places that exists. Um, <laughs> Twitter, email. Tumblr, SoundCloud, iTunes, Facebook, Reddit, YouTube, Wiki, to search for the Toon Goons. Instagram ARG of... We actually do not have an Instagram. That's the we, one thing we, we don't have. We won't. We're 100% audio. There's nothing to take a picture of. No, like, we... It the, would... twi- the pictures we do, we just put on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. And they're just me chronicling all our fuck-ups on a post-it note. Yeah. Yeah. I've moved on to a notepad. All right. I look forward to your note. Okay. Yeah. It's like, it, it's a real honest look into what you think of me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Like that, th- like that mean but funny, so not mean anymore thing you said when we were in New York. It's like, man, Nikki's just held together by gum and cigarette tar. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've been Nikki. I've been Nina. I continue to be Tooch. I have to go to bed like right now, and thank you for tuning in. We all do.